It's been called a sniper's war. Fighters look for their enemy from rooftops, from behind the cover of fragile walls, through dugout holes, and down telescopic sights. But this sniper is different from the others. She used to manage a beauty salon. Her enemy is the Syrian government, and she believes she must confront violence with violence. It is normal for me. I encourage every woman to stand up as I did. It was my choice, but Bashar made us do this. We wanted a peaceful revolution, but Bashar imposed this on us. When I shoot, I think of all the people who are being killed, and all the massacres, and all the blood. Um Jafar took us to one of her positions for some target practice. She says she has eight kills since she started fighting just four months ago. But every young rebel on the streets here has a story, and many brag about being heroes. Um Jafar is known for her shooting skills, but here she's also known for her bravery. Before she became a fighter herself, a rebel was injured near her home. She heard it and she saw it. She went down into the streets despite the incoming fire and managed to drag his body to safety. This is the young man she saved. Abu Jafar is now recovered from his injuries and leads this small brigade in Aleppo city. The experience brought the two together, and a few months later they were married, right here on the front line. Is there any wedding that's better than a victory wedding? Than the wedding of a revolution? This is everything that I wanted, and I hope we can have a bigger party when the regime falls. It was a simple ceremony, but everybody here was in attendance and they say it was a happy moment that made them proud. He's a good leader. They're both good fighters. But I don't know who's better in the home. <laughs> Here in the brigade, she's just another member. But at home, we always argue over who the boss is. Abu Jafar tells us to ask his colleagues who the real leader is. <laughs> they say that it's Um Jafar who actually tells him what to do. <laughs> she says it's because she is the commander of the entire brigade, while he is just the leader of a small unit. Frontline romance, songs of battle, and sharing a cause. There's a sense of camaraderie here. And as they push start the car of their commander and his wife, it's easy to forget that this group of friends is fighting a war. Casey Kaufman, Al Jazeera, Aleppo City.